Welcome to Marketing Strategies for Guitarists. My name is Klaus Kussero. I used to be a banker a while ago. Then I decided to study the guitar, which I did. And I graduated in 2007 with my artistic diploma with Johannes Mono. Then I became an audio engineer. And I am currently running a small photo and filmmaking business in Esslingen near Nürtingen. Before we start, let me ask you a question. What do you want to be known for? This question seems to be quite unrelated to our topic, but we will see. With this question in mind, we are going into the following points. What's your expertise, your musical profile? How do people know about your expertise? We will have a closer look to YouTube, a website, and other social media like Facebook and Instagram. Market yourself, communication skills, reflect yourself. Let's have a look at the first question. What's your expertise, your musical profile? What do I mean by that? Okay, let's see what comes to our mind when we see this picture of the duo Assad. Although they played Bach, Scarlatti and even Fernando Sor, they are clearly expert in Latin music. Listen to their interpretations of Piazzolla, Gismonti or the compositions of Sergio Assad. It's so inspiring and they are known for that. The next picture shows Tillmann Hopstock. Although he can play Paganini faster as even Thundergod Thor himself, he is quite well known for his incredible publications on and off the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Next picture, Pavel Steidel. What is he known for? When you have ever seen him before in a concert, you will know. If not, go and check him out on YouTube. These people are known for a specific expertise. Maybe it was quite obvious for you. But why is it so important to be an expert in something? Well, here's how the human brain, the consciousness and the subconsciousness works. First of all, in a crowd of young or not so young, talented guitarists, your expertise can help you to stand out, to be seen and to be booked for a concert instead of somebody else. The second reason is even more interesting. If we consider somebody to be an expert in something, we can't believe that this person is bad in another area. We think and believe that this person is competent in other areas as well. Have you ever thought about your expertise? What could that be? Maybe you are good in doing transcriptions for the guitar. Or you compose. Or you are an outstanding teacher. Whatever it is you consider as your expertise, it's worth a little attention. Which leads us to the next point. How do people know about your expertise? Well, YouTube and other video hosters are a perfect solution for musicians. A potential client, a concert organizer who could book you, can see in a video quite well what to expect if they invite you for a concert. So take care of what you publish. Show only the best work. Let's have a look at two videos that I consider to be in a very high quality. It's just about lighting, framing and the general mood of the video. I turn off the sound by purpose. This is Marcin Diller playing Bach, which you can't hear. It's obviously a studio session. You can see the, by the way, quite expensive microphones. The lighting is good. And this video just looks professional. The other video I'd like to show you looks like this. This is Marcin Diller playing Sierra. A completely different location. A very moody color grading. Interesting camera angles. A really great work. Marcin Diller has not even 20 videos on his channel. All of them at least in a very good quality but his channel has over 1.2 million views. 
It takes some thoughts, time and of course money to produce good videos, but it will pay off. But I'm missing one thing. As you may know and have experienced, people tend to base their decisions a little bit more on sympathy than on quality, which means on the perceived competence more than on the actual competence, simply because we sometimes can't really evaluate the actual competence of somebody. If two people are equally good in what they are doing, but one person is more sympathetic to you, it's quite likely that you choose this person. Why? Because we consider this person to be more competent. So how can we go beyond the usual videos we know from YouTube? How can we present our expertise and give the people the chance to get to know us a little better. Let's watch only a little more than 30 seconds of the following video and let's see if we can answer the following questions. What is the musical profile or the expertise of this guitar duo? And how may they be like as a person? Minimal music, die ihren Ursprung im 20. Jahrhundert hat, lässt sich total gut kombinieren mit Musik aus früheren Epochen, zum Beispiel von Karl Philipp Emanuel Bach. Can you answer the questions from before? I'm quite sure. Why? Because they exactly told us what their expertise is. A combination of minimal music and baroque music. Did you get an impression of the human beings behind the music? I guess so. Why? Because you hear them talk. If you see the whole video, you will hear the other guitarists talk as well. And you get an even deeper impression of their music and their personalities. So spend a little time to produce high quality videos that show your work and yourself. And show only the best. If you post on Facebook and Instagram as well, ask yourself, who is your audience? To keep it short, do you post for friends and family or colleagues or potential clients, which means festival and concert organizers? Speaking of time, time is worth a lot in these days. And finding information fast and easy is very important. A website could be a proper way to provide information about yourself. And wouldn't it be great if a website gives us all the information for a first impression on the landing page without any scrolling? What's your first impression of this website? I tell you mine. It's decent. It's clean. The name Machado Quartet is written in an interesting typeface that catches the attention. And you see the quartets on a kind of really cool photography. And they tell you about their concept Guitarra Nuevo, classical, tango and jazz. The last thing you need to know is if they actually can play the guitar. A sound sample would be nice. And here you have it. And by now you have already decided if you want to leave the web page or if you want to stay. If you want to stay, you are obviously looking for confirmation for your decision. Therefore we have to scroll for the first time. Okay. Global Music Award 2020, concert in the New York Carnegie Hall in Kiev, composition prize for one of the quartet members. Decision confirmed, I would say. And now you are excited and just can't wait to book this quartet, right? If we take a closer look on the website of Matteus de la Fonte and especially on his photographs, what can we see? All a little different but all good. There is not a single weak picture. And that's important. Consistency. If you have, let's say, 20 very good pictures on your website and two weaker ones, like selfie style pictures, that could make the difference between being hired or not. Self-marketing. Why is that so important? If you plan to buy, let's say, a new computer, 
And you know that the staff in the one shop is a little friendlier than in the other. You know where to go. Even if the product is price-wise and quality-wise exactly the same. And that counts far more for music. Because the delivery of the music is much more connected to the human being that produces the music. And if someone, for example a concert manager, books a guitarist for a concert, he always gets the musician behind the guitar as well. Now self-marketing has to kick in. That starts at that point when someone's attention falls on you and reaches out, let's say, by an email. Please use the following questions to check your communication skills. Do I answer business emails fast? Do I write the answer in a nice and friendly way? Do I read incoming business emails carefully and answer all the points? For example, if a festival asks you to send a photograph, your biography and your concert program, you have to send a photograph, your biography and a concert program. If you can't say what you are going to play next year, then send a photography and your biography and ask if you can send the program later. If you just send two things and ignore the third one, they have to reach out again. And that costs time on both sides. If you do so, you will not only be known as a great guitarist, but also as reliable in behind the scenes stuff, which means basic communication skills. Before we come to the last part of this lecture, let's talk about a situation we all face from time to time. The first impression. We all know that the first impression is most important. Let's transfer this knowledge to competitions, especially online competitions. There are some people somewhere in the world and they have to see and to judge your videos. They click on it. Your place and yourself appear. And within a fraction of a second, the first impression is over. And two questions came to my mind. How are you dressed? And how do you introduce yourself and your program? You already spent probably hundreds, if not thousands of hours with your instrument. So spend at least some hours to practice your introduction. Film yourself from time to time and try to improve your speaking. Don't be shy. Radiate confidence and a little smile will help as well. What do you want to be known for? This question seems to have a twin. And that is the question, what are you known for right now? If the answer to both questions is the same, congratulations. If not, what most likely is the case, don't worry, we will get to this in a minute. Maybe you just don't know what you are known for right now. Then ask somebody. Somebody who knows you and is not trying to be nice, but rather honest. That can help to write down a kind of a list of your strengths and weaknesses. And if you spot a weakness that you would like to change the most, set yourself a realistic goal. For example, I will try to read all business emails carefully and respond within three days. For people like me, that's a really big goal. Maybe your website needs a more clear and simplified structure. Maybe it is that you have to delete one or two not so flattering videos to be consistent in a high quality. In an ideal world and after watching this video, we are all now great guitarists that always play interesting and innovative programs that show our expertise, who are easy to deal with and just nice to have around. But in the world we live in, we may just get a little closer. We don't have to be perfect. We have to be authentic human beings. And I assume we all want to be seen as that. Thank you for watching. See you soon maybe in Nürtingen.